we are going to review some of the, what I think, the most playable games on VR, virtual reality, and we're talking about the first game. first game is going to be Doom, Doom VFR, as you're seeing here. We already started the game. Uh, for you guys, I'm going to start from the beginning, from all the beginning, and I'm going to be playing with DualShock modes. So I will be using my hands in the game and we're gonna go through the tutorial and the game of course. So let's go. Let's see what's going on with this game. Just a second. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good to go. Yeah, I'm just gonna clean this up. Some dust and stuff, so I can see better. See, actually, I can see this in, in the VR, so that's scary. Okay. Why this stuff is not working? Come on. Yeah. This should work now. Yeah, it does. Okay, this is the first one. Okay, this is gonna be my right hand. I hopefully doing this good because sometimes during the game just, you can see if it's your right or your left hand. Start with I'm too young to die. Whoa. Progress takes sacrifice. Make your commitment today. Something must have activated the cognitive transfer protocol. This hasn't been done since... 
Hayden. Time to get some answers. Power's down. We'll start there. There has to be a combat chassis somewhere. That would work. Good timing. Let's see what this thing can do.
how is the shield being used?
Starfleet Training Simulator. Our yeah, system is currently configured to train command crew of Aegis class starships. Here you may learn about the roles and responsibilities of each officer on the bridge, and how to operate all of the controls of their command stations. Feel free to experiment and get comfortable with the ship here in the simulator before moving on to the real thing. Okay, I'm gonna go with the captain. As captain, you are in overall command of the crew. It is your responsibility to communicate with and to coordinate the actions of the other officers on the bridge. You'll receive important updates on mission status and also have direct control of the main view screen. Okay, let's go with... Warm. The ship's warp drive can generate a warp field distorting space around the Aegis and allowing you to travel to other star systems much faster than the speed of light. When playing with an AI crew, the captain chooses a destination and gives the orders to prepare for and initiate warp travel. Always bear in mind that charging the warp coils consumes most of the ship's power. The Aegis will not be able to maintain a full combat stance during these critical seconds. To go to warp, first choose a destination from your warp map. You need to select a destination from the warp map. Now give the order to prepare for warp. Your chief engineer will direct power to the warp coils, and your helmsman will lay in a course and align the ship to the correct heading. Prepare the ship for beta. Torpedoes disarmed. Warp protocols. Adjusting power. Warp cores laid in. Lining up for warp. Ready for warp. Oils charged. Warp now tell your alive. crew to engage the warp drive. Aye. Captains have control of the main view screen. You may choose to display any of several different overlays on the view screen. With information about your ship's system status, try the different views and overlays available. Open your view screen controls now. The target and magnify views only work when you are targeting another ship or object. Magnify provides an up-close view of your selected target. Target view provides enhanced situational awareness, showing both your own ship and your target at once. Okay, so basically I can choose the display mode from view screen controls to magnify target and View my ship. Okay. Not needed. And let's go with. Sometimes, as captain, you may wish to take temporary control over another command station. This allows you to perform any of the functions of that role. Then return to the captain's chair when ready. You cannot, however, take control of a station currently being operated by another player. To take control of another station, look at any of your AI command crew and activate orders mode. Now choose the take over option. You can return to the captain's chair at any time by tapping the orders mode button again.
As you see guys, I could just can take over and rule everything in the Currently now we're moving, so I'm going to reduce it to full stop. I can control everything because I just made it here. I can see everything, so I can choose to be up and down. Impulse engines allow the ship to rapidly traverse great distances within a star system. When playing with an AI crew, you will need to choose a destination and give the orders to prepare for and initiate impulse travel. First, choose a destination from your impulse map. You need to select a destination from the impulse map. Now give the order to prepare for impulse. Your chief engineer will give more power to the engines and your helmsman will lay in a course and align the ship. Tell the crew to engage impulse flight. Course process, on your mark. Aye, aye. When playing alone or with AI members of the command crew, the captain gives orders to the AI officers. To give an order to a specific officer, look at them and use the orders system to select from the available commands. Remember, some commands will first require that you select a target or destination. Try ordering your chief engineer to prioritize power to engines. Some orders apply to the entire crew. To access these orders, Look towards the central console in front of you. First, select the closest ship from your local map. Then try ordering the crew to investigate it. Affirmative. Prioritizing power to engines. Staying with you. Engaging target. Engaging target. Updating target. Engaging. Aligning warp vector. Warp coils charged. Warp coil discharge. Captain. The warp coils are about to discharge. In emergency situations, you can sound a red alert to notify your ship's crew. If you are playing with an AI as tactical officer, 
She will interpret a red alert as a request to prepare for combat. Try activating red alert now. Bombing torpedoes. The captain's objectives feed contains vital information about your ship's mission. Updates from support crew and Starfleet command are reflected here, so that you will always know what your crew needs to accomplish. Open the objectives feed now. Some objectives also have more detailed information. Sometimes you, as captain, must choose between different ways to complete an objective and direct your crew accordingly. In all cases, your crew depends on you to keep them informed of their goals. Select the objective for more information. Sometimes you will receive additional information to help with your mission. Keep an eye out for your intel feed, located near your objective readout for tips and hints. As captain, you can answer a hail when messages from Starfleet or other ships are received. If the message is accompanied by video, it will be displayed on the main view screen. Answer the incoming hail now. Aegis, this is Captain Ugu of USS Huxley. Our system checks are complete, we're ready to go. We'll stand by and follow you out when you're ready. At any time while on the bridge, you can use an external view to see what is going on outside and around the ship. At any time while on the bridge, you can use an external view to see what is going on outside and around the ship. As captain, you can access basic information about your ship's status. Open your status displays now. The status information available to you is helpful but no substitute for the more detailed knowledge of your chief engineer. As captain, you have the same maps at your fingertips as your helm and tactical officers. You may use these to aid communication, to identify a target for tactical, or to specify a destination for helm. Targets and nearby destinations are selected from the local map, which shows objects of interest around you. Now touch any object on the map to select it as your target. Some orders you give to the crew require you to first designate a target or destination, exactly as you just did. Okay, now we're gonna choose something else. We're gonna choose Helm. As Helmsman, you are the ship's navigator, responsible for maneuvering the ship and navigating within and between star systems. Your crew depends on you to get the ship wherever needed, to avoid collisions with hazards in space, and to maneuver for tactical advantage in combat situations. Your local map can be used to mark ships and objects as waypoints, to check your proximity to hazards, and gauge when you are close to being detected by hostiles. Touch any target on the map to select it. Your basic maneuvering controls allow you to give the ship forward or reverse thrust, to steer the ship to port or starboard, and to move the ship up or down on its vertical axis. The amount of thrust you can give depends on the amount of power your chief engineer allocates to engines. The more power your engines have, the more responsive the ship will be. Maneuvering controls are only available 
when your local map view is active. The throttle controls your speed and also allows you to reverse or make a full stop. drive allows you to travel quickly between planets and other points of interest within a star system. To travel via impulse, you will first need to plot a course by choosing a destination on the impulse map. Once the course is plotted, you will then need to align your ship with the appropriate heading and engage the impulse drive. Be aware, the impulse drive cannot be engaged unless the chief engineer has allocated sufficient power. Select any point of interest in the star system to plot a course to that destination. Now return to the local view and steer the ship to line up with your plotted course. Grab and push your throttle to engage the impulse drive. The ship's computer will automatically follow the course you plotted. Distort space around the ship to propel it faster than light across the vast distances between star systems. The tremendous amount of energy needed for warp travel will require you to coordinate closely with the chief engineer. To travel by warp, it is your responsibility to plot a course by selecting a star system on your warp map. When the course is plotted, you will need to align the ship with the proper heading. Before you can enter warp, your chief engineer will have to prepare the ship and charge the warp coils. Select a star system to plot a course to it. Now return to the local view and steer the ship to line up with your plotted course. Warp coils charged. Push your throttle to engage the warp drive. The warp coils can only remain charged for a limited time. The chief engineer will need to prepare the ship for warp again. I don't scare the boys. Various systems of the ship affect how easily other vessels can detect the Aegis. The Aegis is designed to avoid detection at ranges where other Federation vessels would be easily visible to another ship's sensors. As helmsmen, the more thrust you are using, the farther away the Aegis can be detected. On your local map, you'll see a ring that expands and contracts as the ship's signature increases or decreases. When other ships come within that ring, they will detect the Aegis. and I've been in an engineer position and I've been in a captain position so basically what I'm gonna be showing you guys is I'm, I'm gonna be uploading be uploading some of part of my online gaming play and stitching it with, with this video so you will have an idea of what is this about and for me thank you wait for the heal Scan the anomaly, please, Stang. Scan yet? There we go. The current trajectory will take them directly through the asteroid field, Captain. Their chances of survival are effectively zero. I am 
updating your password. Server. If we can get within range, we may be able to disrupt their engines. Okay, go to the Polaris. Polaris to seven course. Full power to engines, please, the big F. Yes. Captain, can you please put up our uh, speed and head? Yeah, I will. Thank you. Uh, do you want exterior? Negative. This is quite fine. Okay. Go ahead. I still have only 1000 power to the engine, sir. Just a sec. Okay, keep good. Give all powers. There you go. Distribute them well. Give more. Give some to phase range as well. Uh, we are there. Here we go. Reroute power from shields to engines. Start scanning the anomaly when you're in range. Stay. Yes, it's okay. Out of range. Oh. Yeah, you will be in range soon. Oh, there we go, for mine. It's harmless. How's the rerouting going? The big F. Get the target. Rerouting. Right. Rerouting. Yes, this is target. Yeah. Yes. It's harmless. 6,000 to the engines at the moment. Yeah, we, oh, there you go. You got more. You 67, 50. You want more? Yeah, two. 72. Yeah, 72 is max. There you go. Start scanning. Stay. Scan the Polaris. Yes. yes. Where are you from?